Another week, another wrap-up, but more importantly, another boatload of interesting tidbits of news to sift through to share with our viewers. Last week, I asked if people were interested in the inclusion of a mini-review as part of this magazine video, and while we didn't get too many responses, the overall feeling was positive, so as of next week, it looks like I'll have to start including a mini-review. But for now, let's see what's happening in the world of the App Store. A while ago, a mysterious website teased the possibility of something new related to Douglas Adams' famous Hitchhikers series. But more importantly, the site was tied to game developer Hothead Games. This led pundits to ponder the possibilities, including a possible new game, to a remake of the classic text-based adventure. As it turns out, it looks like the App Store will be getting an actual Hitchhiker's Guide as opposed to a game. But this news is just as good, at least for fans such as myself, so wonder no more. Planking. The very word sends a shiver of both amusement and displeasure down my spine. And after the media furor regarding the fad, it should probably cause you to feel the same way. So with that in mind, how about you film yourself edging in order to win a whole bunch of games? Two Tribes and MOBA Games are offering a large selection of their catalogue for those who leave a video of themselves edging or hanging off ledges. So head over to the Two Tribes website for more info. EA were kind enough to let gamers know what's currently on their schedule with regards to future iOS games, and it seems as though Theme Park and Battlefield 3 have come up trumps. Not to diminish the awesomeness of Battlefield 3, but holy crap. Theme Park. As someone who grew up with an Amiga, I can't stress how excited I am about this potential release of Bullfrog's classic sim management game. With Kyrosoft currently dominating the scene, it's refreshing to see another classic title on its way, so keep an eye out for this one. There's not much to say here other than to warm up your iTunes accounts because there's a lot of games going for cheap in the Square Enix catalogue. Now I say cheap, but what I mean to say is cheaper. But the point is that those who have been waiting for an excuse to track classics like Final Fantasy 1, 2, Secret of Mana or Chaos Rings can do so at a substantial discount. We've seen indie developers hit from the blind side by copycat games before on the App Store, notably when The Blocks Cometh by Halfbot had its game usurped by an inferior clone. And sadly, outside of community backlash, there's often very little that can be done about it. While it's easy to feel outraged, one thing gamers may not grasp is just how disheartening it is for a developer. But an open letter to Game Noughts by Greg, who is currently working on Ridiculous Fishing, made it all too clear just what goes through the mind of a developer faced with their own work with another person's name attached. After the initial gamer outcry, Game Noughts did approach Vlambeer with an offer of revenue sharing and credits in the game. It seems that an agreement was not reached, as Vlambeer had hoped to release their game simultaneously with Fishing Ninja so the games could speak for themselves. On a personal note, and having reviewed original games and their clone counterparts, all I can say is that the past has really shown the adage of there's no such thing as bad PR to be true. If Ridiculous Fishing is as good as it looks and as fun as the original Flash game, the only thing to worry about as the occasional false claim of being a copycat themselves. We look forward to checking out Ridiculous Fishing once it hits the App Store. Lastly, if there's one game worth checking out this week, it's Anomaly Warzone Earth by Bits Studios and Chilingo. The tower defense genre has long since become a fairly invisible genre for gamers, an almost ubiquitous type of game you'd expect to be added into other games soon enough, much like Bejeweled and Pipe Dreams. Thankfully, there's more meat to Anomaly's gameplay, and instead of defending objectives from hordes of enemies, you get to be the boss wave that tears through, demolishing the map and ruining someone's day. The amazing aesthetics and intuitive controls are just the icing on the cake, making this a great pickup for strategy fans tired of the usual tower defense gameplay. Don't forget to subscribe to us via YouTube, Twitter or Facebook, but more importantly, don't forget to check out our website at www.appspy.com. Our reviews on the site not only feature additional details to help make your choices easier to make, but we also provide price tracking, direct links to games in your region, and scores for those who need a quick and dirty way of making their decisions. Until next week, have a fun weekend. This has been Andrew with AppSpy.com. We review, you decide.